Hey students, it's Mr. Matthews from the art room. Uh, I'm making this video because the other day I had a student come into my class and they tried something and they realized that they wasn't their strength and they just gave up. They just didn't try again. Another student I saw uh, was too afraid to try, I think. Um, they didn't even pick up a pencil to try. They felt like it was too difficult. And so I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, hmm, there's a couple words that I think the whole school could learn. And uh, I want to share those words with you. And when we're talking about words, we need to know the definition of words so that we have a shared understanding about it so that we can go forward, okay? Uh, let me make myself a little bit smaller and put myself over here. Those words are perseverance and resiliency. Maybe you've heard them before, uh, but let's talk about them and have a shared definition, okay? So perseverance. Perseverance is doing something despite its difficulty. Another way of saying it is continuing to do something, even if it's difficult. Uh, I like to imagine playing a video game. Uh, you're on a level you've never played before, and your character falls off a cliff. Uh, your character dies. Uh, your avatar disappears. And you have to start again at the beginning of the level. Yes, that can be frustrating. Yes, it can be difficult. But do you give up? Do you throw your controller across the room? And, I'm never playing this game again. Or do you pick it up and you try again? And you try again and you try again and you try again and you try again and you try again, you try again until you get it. And you beat the level, and then you go on to the next level. And the next level is more difficult than that level. That's the same with education. Each thing is going to get a little bit more difficult, but you have to be able to persevere. Here's the next thing. Resiliency. It is the capacity to recover quickly from difficult difficulties. The ability to bounce back after a challenge and or a tough time. So things didn't go your way. Things didn't go expected as the way it was supposed to be. Do you stay stuck in this bad mood? I'll never try again. I won't do it. Or do you say, hey, you know what? I failed. I can try again. Oh, that is so frustrating. I didn't get that time. But I can try again. Resiliency. Hmm. I want, to, I want to share something with you. I, I love skateboarders. I worked at a skate shop for like seven years of my life. I've gone snowboarding most of my life. Uh, anybody in the adventure, BMX, uh, action sports, um, anything like that. I love, love those people. They are amazing because they have perseverance, because they have resiliency. They are willing to try a trick over and over and over again until they land it and get it right. Uh, I used to go snowboarding with a group of guys. We used to film these snowboard parts for them. And I would watch people break their arms, their collarbones, just so that they could learn a trick so that like two weeks later, once they healed, or three weeks or six weeks later, uh, they were ready to land it, and then they could have their part in a snowboarding video. I really, really enjoy these people. I want you to see, see this person. This person made this video about landing one trick. When you're, when you're watching it, while you're listening to it, I want you to think about how long this person did this for. How many tries? How much was he willing to do this over and over and over again to land it and get it right. We'll watch it together. Let me make myself a little bit smaller again. Whoop. And let's watch this video. Everybody has their own project that they're doing, mostly like for themselves, you know, just so that they can accomplish something. This was mine. So this is pretty much a story of me dying for the past two years trying to film something. Oh, I thought I was gonna come around, right? I'm not really the most consistent skateboarder, and I don't land stuff every try at all. As a matter of fact, I fall most of the time. I was filming this video part, and I knew I wanted to laser flip something pretty big, so I found a triple set two years ago. 
I didn't think that it would be like literally the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my skateboarding life, like ever. Now, it's been about two years and I'm gonna say I've been there at least 10 times every year. And that's also about a hundred tries every time because I don't stop unless like I physically can't or my like board is broken. Like I've gone so many times that there's been days that I've gone that I couldn't even try it. Like I went a couple of times and there was cars parked right in front of the stairs. I like I went to the hospital twice, I think. I like cracked my rib like doing it. And then I hit my head. You should wear a helmet. I don't really remember like all the times I've tried. I don't even know how many times I've went there, but I am almost positive I've tried it over 2,000 times. I don't know if that's like a bad thing or like something to be proud of, but, but I definitely like bled a bunch for this and hurt myself a lot. I don't think it matters how much you try something. I think it only matters how hard you went for it. And even if you didn't do it, but you still like tried your heart out, that's still amazing that you had the determination to try it. Like in, in my eyes, and like for me. Last time I went, I was really hungry, so I ate McDonald's and a coffee before I started trying it, and that was like a pretty bad idea. Ah! Come on! So I got there after I ate my McDonald's and my little coffee and started trying for about like 20 minutes, and I started to puke a little bit, like in my mouth, and I could feel it, and I was like, God, I was like, I shouldn't ate McDonald's, but I was like, I'm not gonna stop, like I'm just gonna keep going. And so like I go back to the top of the runway and uh, I puked over the handrail and right when I puked I was like all right I'm doing it right now like I just puked it's happening and then I ran as fast as I could and right when I flipped it I remember thinking like oh my god here it comes and like when I landed it it's like I blacked out for a second and all of a sudden like there was like a car in front of me I was like oh my god I'm rolling away and it was just like two years of killing myself trying to land something. And then I was just like so happy. Oh my god. Like, oh my god, yes. Like, yeah. I don't have to try it anymore. I did it. Like, it's over. Yes. 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 Yeah, Christian. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Dude. Ah! That was perfect. So, was this might be easy for someone you know or like your friends or you but for me it was like the hardest thing <laughs> that i've ever had to do in my own little personal accomplishment it took me two years to do that i bled i sweat i probably cried i cried and uh i'm really happy it's done but i am looking for something bigger to do so dm me some stairs not something ridiculous like something that's like reasonable thanks So my question for you is, what are you worried, worth, what's worth it to try for? Because things are difficult. Things are really difficult. And the things that are important to you are worth trying. They're worth trying. They're worth persevering and being resilient for. Um, there is a, oh, what's on that? Come on, move through. There's this artwork downtown in a building 
And it says fail harder. Let me make myself a little bit smaller. Here we go. Fail harder. And this is all made out of thumbtacks. Clear thumbtacks. Uh, this area right here and all this area in between. This is a negative space artwork. So the white of the wall is making the words. And everywhere else is just little clear thumbtacks. And they use this as a giant message to their employees. Fail harder. And I'm sure you've seen some of these employees' artwork in the world. Uh, if you've ever seen a Coca-Cola commercial, if you've ever seen a Nike commercial, this is one of the world's best ad agency, and it's right here in Portland, Oregon. And this is their company motto, fail harder. Don't be afraid to try. Like, fail harder. Get a big idea and go big. Put some effort into it. Try. Be okay with failing. And, and that's their company motto. They make the world's best commercials because this is their idea. It's okay to try. It's okay to fail. It's okay to try again. It's okay to be perseverant. It's okay to be resilient. And that's what maybe we need in our school. This is maybe what we need in our classrooms, to be willing to try, to be willing to fail because failing is learning. I want to leave you with some quotes from an amazing sports person. Um, and maybe you're not into sports, but maybe you can see what this uh, person is saying. Uh, I just want to show you this is the size of it. So it's a really big artwork. They really want people to see it. Okay. So here is, uh, oh, this is the quotes. Okay. Um, let's actually go back one. High standards plus effort equals high achievement. When you have high standards for yourself, you put in the effort, you're going to achieve great things. It's just math. It's just math. That are, there it is. There's the equation. Use it. So here's one for Michael Jordan. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games 26 times. I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. It's one of the greatest basketball players ever. And they're okay with failing. They're okay with not being perfect. They're willing to make mistakes. Here's another one. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something. But I cannot accept not trying. Trying is the beginning of everything. It is. The beginning of every great story, someone had to try. Everyone has to try. If you don't try, you're limiting yourself from being amazing, from being great, from inventing something new. Here's another one. Champions don't become champions when they win an event, but in the hours, the weeks, months, and years they spend preparing for it. What are you willing to prepare for? Your life is just waiting for you on the other side. Us teachers want you to be successful. Us teachers want you to go out and do some amazing things with your life. But at some point, you're going to have to try. We won't be able to hold you accountable. We can't say do this to be successful. You're going to have to hold yourself accountable. Some of you might want to be your own business owners. That's a lot of hard work. No one's telling you what to do. You have to. So, can you be resilient? Can you persevere? Can you try? Yes! Now, will you? I can't wait to see it.